last video that we took where we went through the Ayuntamiento and we came out of these doors here into the Plaza Europa. And what we're going to do today is we're going to take a tour around the Plaza de Europa and give you some little insights and information about what there is here to see. So this is the beautiful Casa de Miranda house dating from 1730 um, and as you can probably assume housed the Miranda family. As you can see built in the typical Canarian design with the wooden balconies made from the local tea wood. This um, building has been considered an asset of cultural interest in the monument category of 2009. Like I say home to the Miranda family in particular Francisco de Miranda who was considered to be a forerunner in the independence of Venezuela. There he is there, that's a bus that was put there in 1973 in recognition of the um, Canarians who currently live in Venezuela. Francisco de Miranda was a forerunner in the independence of Venezuela, uh, considered to be the first universal Venezuelan. He also played a part in the independence of the USA and in the French Revolution. So as we cross the Plaza de Europa Square here, this square measures some 5,000 square metres in size. Um, some of you will know that there's underground parking, two layers of underground parking underneath this square. And it was inaugurated in 1992, December 1992. And it's said that its name has been derived from the many European visitors that have visited the island. Some of them have just visitors and some of them have stayed, but it's in recognition of the European visitors that come to Puerto de la Cruz. If you make your way up the steps, um, you get a great view up here of the town hall just there on the right hand side where all the government offices are. And over there towards the left hand side, you can see the coastal area of Martianes with the, uh, the mountains in the background there. Now, as you look over the top, this area is known as El Penitente. Uh, the pier was originally started to be built in 1911 and it was actually finished around about 1930. Um, I think its construction got interrupted. There were, was a war and uh, I think it had some natural reasons for the delay in constructing the pier. But it is said that there's a little bit of a, a story behind this, um, the name of this pier. And it said that there was a pirate that had a, a young maiden that he was in love with, uh, but the young maiden's family wouldn't let her see her, her pirate. So in order for him to be able to see her, he used to dress up in a monk's outfit. Um, he managed to get away with that disguise because of the proximity of the convent there. There was plenty of other uh, monks uh, and friars dressed in the same outfit. So he was able to use that as a disguise to meet up with his maiden. The pier stopped <laughs> being of any use um, after the Civil War, uh, once the uh, Port of Santa Cruz opened up. Now we're taking a walk here across the top of these walls. I think these are part of the 1992 structure of the Plaza de Europa, but we're actually making our way across the top here towards the Santa Barbara Battery. You get a great view up here down towards the, the port area of um, the Puerto de la Cruz. So as we make our way towards the Santa Barbara Battery, uh, this was commissioned by the Franchi family in the 18th century and it's actually attached to the Royal Customs House. And obviously the idea of it was to defend the, the, the port from pirates and any attack by sea, hence the little uh, sentry box there, for the sentry to stand in and keep a lookout. Now you'll see there are four cannons there. Two of them are made from iron and two of them are constructed from bronze. And as we take a closer look at them, you'll be able to see the coats of, the coats of arms of Portugal and Holland on these cannons. Uh, the reason being that these cannons actually came from a Dutch ship and they were donated in 1992 by the Ministry of Defence to be put there in the uh, Santeria Batteria.